Hey guys, I'm out with my Axial Crapra UTB-18. Uh, Earlier this morning, uh, it's a little bit dirty, overlooked that. I gotta clean it up. Figured I'd do one good run today uh, before I get it all cleaned up and oiled up and, and ready to ready to run again. Um, and I got a four wheel steer, of course. I got a Hobbywing 1080. I got the original uh, motor and gearing on it. Um, I did add uh, some trail uh steering horns the orange ones uh very nice and uh of course i put this i left the stock spectrum s651 um servo on the front and i put one on the back this back the, the s651 and um on the front though to kind of accommodate some of the weight that i added with that with that on the back i did add some um i think they're half they're quarter ounce weights there's one on each side of the servo kind of kind of kind of balance it out a little bit more might need to add one more beside those but uh we'll see but I, i'm gonna go ahead and give it a spin um, i also hooked it up to the R rc4gs and of course if you've seen my videos on this you already know all this but if this is your first time seeing my videos um just letting you know what i did to this thing and i think it's amazing i was going to put a, a, a brushless system on it but I've held off. Um, I'm very impressed with what the 1080 uh, did do to this thing. And I did make it to where um, I added a extension cable to where you plug in the uh, program box to the 1080. I ran it all the way up here. And I have a, the 1080 comes with a black plug to waterproof that uh, when you're not using it so instead of of course i got this wire plugged into the 1080 so it's it's sealed off there and to seal off this entrance uh i put that black plug here so when i want to program it, i just unplug that that black plug and plug in my program box right there uh, what i plan to do eventually is this is just a small little box right here take those four screws out and you got a box i'm gonna cut a small hole in the side for these wires to fit in and literally just tuck this inside this box for extra protection plus to hide it better but let me know your thoughts on that you know I, I did that so i don't have to take the whole body back off to get access to the 1080. that's not the easiest thing you know you got to completely take the entire body away from the chassis just to get up into the 1080. so i found this to be a much uh, easier and time saving uh, solution okay guys i'm gonna quit rambling let's get to rolling I made a, uh, another obstacle down here in my trail. I'm starting to work on it some more. So in the future, you'll see a few more um, little obstacles I can crawl over, you know, for better testing. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, think about it. I got hundreds of videos on my channel. And um, most of them focus on tra uh, trail trucks and crawlers. But I do have bashers. All right, guys, let's just get to rolling. Hope you enjoy it.
right guys i hope you enjoyed that uh, i wanted to get this out today because i was thinking you know what's my favorite releases of this year and this might uh be my favorite rc that i've gotten this year i'm pretty sure it got released earlier this year but um it might have been last year but regardless i i got it in my hands this year so uh, for 2023 i have to say this is probably my favorite release of course it was after uh, it was updated with the four wheel steering and uh once i put these general grabber uh, 1.5 fives on here uh such a scale looking rig you know now um i really enjoy it uh especially with that 1082 it just it's just awesome um and it is the version 2 of the 1080 which adds a few little extra bells and whistles um but I, what I like so much about it is it's, it's, it's 18 scale, but it kind of bridges the gap between 10 scale and the smaller 24 scales. You know, it's just like it's in between there and, and it, it can perform just as well as, as any of my 10 scale ones. Uh, it might struggle a little bit here and there, but very seldom. It, it, so it will outcrawl some of my 10 scale RCs so um and i just really awesome uh, i really like it i've always liked capras anyway and i've always wanted to get my hands on one i really like that four wheel steer version they, they they got out you know and it was a it's a pretty pricey rc um so i kind of wanted to imitate that with this version you know and, and i wanted to I, I might like this version better even if i had that 10 scale version i just like the size of this easy to maintain easy to, to carry around and i did change the battery out to a larger um, lipo <clears throat> i got a obviously a 2s two, two 1600 milliamp hour 30c there um and uh it seems to work great i get really awesome run times of course i have four of those batteries so i don't i'm not worried about run times at all but this thing performs so great i mean even out the box it performs really really well so just let me know your thoughts on on this rc and uh and, and if you like what i did to mine here and uh and hit me up in the comments and hit that like button too if you like this video and as always guys thanks for everything <laughs>